Pisces, hi. I'm here to do your collective reading. I want to take a look into this week ahead. So Monday through Friday, let's see what's going on for Monday through Friday. Spirit, angels, and guides. God, universe, ancestors, and the highest to the most high. You are welcome into this Piscean reading. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Pisceans. All right? So let's take a look at what's coming. What's coming towards Pisces in this coming week, Spirit? Please show me. Clear, concise messages, please, for Pisces. All right. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. So blessed, first card out. So you are blessed, Pisces. Number 22. Song that's playing right now is The Babes. What do you mean when you nod your head yes and they want to say no? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, for the week ahead. Week ahead, we got Loyal Heart, number 35. All right, so you could be... Um, a very loyal person. You could be meeting someone who is very loyal. Um, I feel like you are blessed because you have a loyal heart. Okay. You have pure intentions. You have loyalty to what it is that you believe in. <clears throat> All right. Three more cards for the week ahead. Four Pisces. Turn right. Wanna argue all day, making love all night. In between. Oh, I really wanna know. Do you guys like my shirt I made last night? Me and my daughter were, uh, we've had these decal letters for a while. It's kind of, you know, a little bit too long, but whatever. It was the first time we've done it, so it was actually super easy and it was fun. So... Sorry to get some messages out to you guys. I had to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with my baby, you know. All right, number three, between worlds. So you could be feeling in between worlds uh, during this week. One foot in, one foot out. Um, you could be torn in, in a certain direction be and maybe be wanting to go in another direction. Or um, I feel like you're walking out of darkness into the light, whatever the case is. And then we got not for you. So this is like a chess board. Uh, number six, not for you. So it's like there's a fortune cookie there, but whatever this is, is not for you. So, okay, so I just got, if somebody comes towards you this week trying to offer you something like, I don't want to say a get rich scheme, but like something that, okay, what's a fortune cookie, right? Good fortune. It's your fortune. It tells you, um, what your fortune is. However, I feel like something is going to come towards you and Spirit is saying it is not for you. We will clarify. And then we got the tribe. So you could be dealing with family during this week. Um, definitely see a child here, maybe a pet. Maybe somebody's thinking about going on vacation. Oh, hi. Um... So let's clarify in the tarot. Sorry, just like stop talking on you guys. It's stormy outside again. All right, so let's clarify blessed. Why is this being highlighted for Pisces? I feel like spirit wants you to know that you are blessed, okay? You have a loyal heart. You have pure intentions. And therefore, I feel like something, not that you're being rewarded. You may be rewarded. You may be getting, receiving some type of a blessing. Um, I feel like right here in the center of your reading, really? Right here in the center of your reading is this between worlds. All these other cards, let me just show them for you. All these other cards, your first two, both purple, blessed, and loyal heart so i feel like you're blessed because you have a loyal heart so if you're fearing something this week i feel like this is a 
letting you know there's nothing to fear, okay? You could be feeling in between worlds, like stuck in between two things, stuck in between a rock and a hard place. You could be moving from a darker space, wanting to go, you know, move into the light, move into something that's more lighthearted, carefree. Something that may bring happiness. The happy card in this deck is actually the same color. I just realized that. Okay. Why do you keep bumping me? Okay, so seriously, when I want to find it, it's like I can't find it. Okay, really? That's bougie. You're not going to show me? So I see Yang is also that color. Treasure Island. I don't know why I'm even being drawn towards this. I'm like tripping off this right now. I got to show you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Happy, happy. Right? I feel like you're walking away to like happiness. And to Look at this woman. It's like a carefree. There was a reason I was drawn to show y'all. Okay. I do believe that. I feel like you're stepping out of something that could have made you feel clouded. You could have had a clouded judgment. Um, you're stepping out of like the darkness. You could be wanting to go somewhere where it's tropical. But this is like a carefree, lighthearted energy. I'm leaving this card out. Okay. And then the other two cards on the other side are purple again. So right in between these two worlds, you have in between worlds, right? Spirit, spirit is letting you know that you are blessed, okay? Keep moving is what I just heard. So let's clarify. Throw one card on this blessed. Why is Pisces blessed? Or I guess we know you would know why you're blessed, Pisces. Because you do you. All right, blessed. Show me blessed. Number 22 can also be about choices. There could be some type of choice that's coming up this week. Ten of swords. Somebody could have put ten swords in your back, betrayed you. All right, deceived you. There could have been an ending here that ended painfully, brutally. You're about to be blessed for this, for the pain that you endured, the pain that you went in, because you are the magician. You are able to manifest everything that it is that you want and desire here. You have all the tools. Virgo Gemini energy. Ten of swords. Throw one on this magician, please. You could just be a, a great manifester at this time. You could be um, working on your manifestations as well. You know, affirmations, manifestations. All right. See things in life. Why are all my aces turned around? That is so weird. I mean, would you really rap for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so show me lo loyal heart. Actually, throw it on this magician. Queen of Cups, yes, that is you, Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You are the magician, okay? You are very, very powerful at this time. I'm being drawn to this infinity symbol above his head. This is, to me, I'm seeing this as like a halo. Magician reverse would be like somebody using... I feel like you're using your manifestations, you're using divination tools, but you're using them in a very skilled manner. I feel like you went through some type of an ending. You could have gone through many endings, all right? But something here fucking hurt you, which, which jogged you and put you into a place of power, okay? Like, you went through some type of an ending here that was fucking heartbreaking, that hurt really bad. Somebody could have betrayed you. Many people could have betrayed you. But I feel like it was just in order to show, to, to, 
to bring out the power in you, okay? I feel like you were very loving, very nurturing, very kind here in this situation. Very intuitive, intuitive as well, okay? You have a lot of deep emotions. Your waters run deep. But I feel like you had to go through some type of pain, like some type of a betrayal, to realize who the fuck you really are, all right? You are the magician. You are the alchemist. You make decisions decisions based out of love okay and that's why you are blessed Pisces so loyal heart moving on what is this loyal heart number 35 nine of pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy this is um being this is pre empress energy okay looking good smelling good doing good on your own able to provide for yourself <clears throat> Excuse me. Royal heart. Show me more. Judgment. Scorpionic energy. With the judgment here. This is... This is... You could also just be single at this time. You're very loyal. You could be single. Somebody here may be wanting to reconcile or somebody may be asking for your forgiveness. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Scorpio. Give me one more on this loyal heart. I feel like the angels call judgment on something. You could just be praying, oh shit, the or the devil. Okay. Show me the devil. Show me the devil. The hair font. Oh. Oh. That's intense. Is it weird that I feel chest pain? Like, oh, who that is, though? Whose energy am I tapping into? I don't know. Where's my bitch be gone spray? Because I think we're going to need it. Okay. I feel like you were loyal to the fucking devil, okay? You were loyal to somebody here who was chained to the devil. I feel like, okay, so the hair font can also speak about religious belief systems. This could be a father figure. It doesn't have to be. It could be an Aries. This could also be a boss or somebody who you work with or somebody who you look up to or oversee, uh, or not oversee, but someone who oversees you, I guess. Um, judgment and the devil and the hair font. So if somebody here was doing, I'm not very familiar with this, so no disrespect to like, Anybody who, I don't know, practice whatever you practice, that's on you. But um, this speaks to, like, religious system. So right next to the devil, clarifying the devil, I believe in religion. So if you're spiritual, they call it black magic, right? If you are religious, they call it voodoo. The only reason I know this is because... Somebody who practices religion that I know in my personal life, um, who tried to persuade me away from tarot as it is the devil and all this and that and the other, but I believe different, okay? I'm very, I'm a spiritual person. I do believe in certain religions, like certain things out of the Bible. I believe certain things out of each religion, okay? I'm not going to say I agree with everything, therefore I'm, I believe in, you know, whatever this is somebody who is hexing somebody or um doing voodoo dolls maybe somebody didn't even believe in this is somebody who was in a in a place of fucking power but they abused their power okay possibly in a spiritual way or just somebody this could also be governmental systems agencies um this is somebody that somebody looks up to, but it's chained to the fucking devil, all right? Judgment here, I feel like, is being called on this situation. We have Scorpio, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini out here. Somebody also could have been trying to do work on your finances, or somebody could have done, like, fucking... I don't understand, so no disrespect, but, like, hexes and shit to, like, keep somebody single... 
throw it on this devil. What was this? What was this devil's issue? Maybe this person was attached to money or maybe this person just likes to be single, stay single. This person could have like a toxic attachment to money. Either way, I feel like somebody here is wanting to come in and reconcile, ask for forgiveness. Because they see you doing well. What is this devil? This may be longer reading than I... Page of Wands reverse. Uh, could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. But this is like a message of bad news. Someone who's not optimistic in life. Somebody who you know, doesn't take action or they're very immature with how they take action, okay? Um, or somebody here who just has a very negative outlook, a very negative thinking, something that is attached to the devil, all right? So somebody here is not optimistic about whatever it is. Somebody here, this, you know, page of wands in the reverse could be like a, a message of bad news or, you know, somebody that made a bad action, a, took some type of, Toxic addictions or a debt. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Ugh. Um. Anyway, somebody who could think negatively. All right. If this is a messenger of bad news tied to the devil, it's like somebody here could be just negative Nancy. <laughs> all right. Who's the hair font? What's what's up with this hair font? Eight of Wands. In the full card, some somebody may be wanting to communicate. The full did come in reverse that they made some type of they did some type of there may be some communication coming in from an Aries or that somebody here wants to take a new leap of faith, a brand new beginning. Maybe balance out the scales. Okay. There's a lot of like sexual passion I'm getting. Like the energy is very Give me just one, please, for this hair font. I feel like somebody has angels watching over them and their stability and their finances. If anybody was wondering, I feel like this angel, okay, this angel right here is about to keep somebody okay, safe, because you have a loyal heart. This angel is like, maybe blowing the whistle on other people or whoever this is trying to reconcile. If that is the case, we got the moon card, the hair font, clarifying the hair font. So about secrets, this could also be about fear. There could be somebody, okay, seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. Thank you, spirit. I definitely feel like there's some like, Fucked up abuse of power. There's some secrets here surrounding somebody doing some type of devilish shit. But I feel like you're protected because you have a loyal heart. I feel like this betrayal meant to happen to, to elevate you, to make you um, recognize your worth, recognize your power that you have within. I keep, this is like third time seeing that Queen of Pentacles too. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I feel like something here is going to be stable grounded let me see what is this between worlds so i'm gonna get a different deck because that's what i just heard let me see Ooh. all right between worlds these cards are already shuffled eight of swords so somebody here could be feeling trapped in their head or in the past they were, or you're leaving, because, okay, I'll show you in a minute. So Wheel of Fortune, somebody here could definitely be getting their karma. Uh, came out kind of sideways, more so in the reverse, so I'm going to read it in the reverse. I feel like somebody here is possibly getting their karma. Falling into some type of um, misfortune, or less fortunate things, and it's leaving somebody feel trapped in a mental prison. Or somebody here could literally be going to jail for some karma, getting out of jail. Give me more on this between worlds. So we have Knight of Swords. There's going to be communication coming in. It's 
It's going to be the truth. Somebody here may be wanting a new beginning in love. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Seven of Cups. Okay. Somebody could have been confused about love as well. <laughs> I don't know why I keep hearing that. I, this has came up in so many readings. Who do you love? <laughs> I don't even know what song that is. Who do you love? That's all I hear. Okay. What is this Knight of Swords? So there's going to be some type of communication. Could be from an air sign. Aquarius, they were Gemini. Could be a fixed sign. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, um, Aquarius. But I feel like whatever this communication is, it's going to be truthful. Okay, so the four of swords fell out the first time when all those cards fell. And here it is again. I feel like somebody here is possibly resting or meditating. Maybe healing after a third party. What is this? Four of swords? Oh my goodness. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So there could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming towards you wanting some type of commitment. So if you're dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, if you're masculine Pisces here, interested in a female, this could be like a, a feminine Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here that's wanting to come in and reconcile with you. Possibly for some of you. All right, show me this Four of Swords. Single card. Queen of Cups. So maybe you're resting and healing and meditating here. Going within, taking a break, taking a rest. Healing yourself. Healing from heartbreak. Show me this Knight of Swords. Five of Pentacles. So whoever this is, it's coming in. To speak to you could be a fire sign doesn't have to be this person could be um this person could have rejected you in the past this could have been a soulmate connection but i feel like somebody here is rushing in with some type of truth because they're feeling left out in the cold be careful this person is like low vibrational they may be in like some type of like a mental mind fuck like they may be like really depressed or <coughs> going through karma all right this person's mentally unstable I definitely feel that because there's a lot of misfortune here. I feel like you're trying to heal from this person. Okay. What is this not for you? Not for you for Pisces. Pisces. You are the love of my life. You are, you are the love of my life. That's what's playing. So strength reverse. All right. Somebody here is lacking the strength and the courage. This could be a Leo. This could be somebody who breadcrumbed you. Somebody who does not give to the situation equally. Point blank. Period. <coughs> Hanging man, Piscean energy. Um, oh, damn, and the High Priestess. So this is like three major arcana, not for you. So we got Leo, Pisces, Pisces. So strength card reverse. Somebody here does not have the courage or the strength in a situation. Because somebody here does not give equally, doesn't intend to, just didn't give equally. Somebody breadcrumb somebody. Somebody... Um, or somebody does not want to give to this. That's why they're lacking the courage and the strength. Either way, I feel like somebody here may be gaining a new perspective about you, Pisces. Um, I feel like you're very silent at this time. You could be seeing things with fresh eyes. Seeing things in a whole new light. You could be using your intuition. You could be the high priest inside as well. You could be very intuitive, very psyche. Um... You could be feeling stuck. The High Priestess is also about secrets. You could be trying to gain a new perspective here on something that was kept in the dark. Or something that's making you feel stuck as well. Throw one on this whole situation. Give me a clarifying card. What is this? Hangman High Priestess. Maybe you don't have the strength and the courage.
Four of Cups. You're feeling bored with love. You're thinking about rejecting an offer and keeping your options open. This dude is like rejecting this cup. Looking at these three other options. Like somebody here is thinking about rejecting a love offer. Because somebody here doesn't give equally in this situation. I feel like you're using your intuition and you're, and you're keeping silent. You could be um, like in hangman mode, just like observing a situation, looking at things upside down, like maybe you're hanging from a tree. Like, hold up, wait a second, let me let me get a different view of this situation. And then you just go and, you know, I got an imagination, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict here, mental conflict possibly, or just internal conflict, conflict with others. Show me the tribe. Why is that being highlighted for Pisces week? Three cups. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You could be um, reuniting, wanting to celebrate, wanting to hang out with family, you know, this could be like holidays. This could also mean like friends, but you have the tribe out here. So that tends to make me feel like family. I feel like you could be celebrating, um, being celebrated possibly by family. Show me more on this tribe. Hey, excuse me. Oh. Okay, so, Empress, hey, stop it, what's wrong with you? Um, Taurus, Libra, and energy, you could be a mother, you could be pregnant, you could just be very abundant, you could be, um, show me more for this tribe. Two of pentacles reverse, four of pentacles upright. So you could be holding on to your money as well, trying to save up your money. You could be like saving money for a party or a birthday party. You could be feeling a little bit unbalanced when it comes to your finances, like you have to penny pinch or hold on. Show me more. Maybe you have a family to take care of. Maybe you're a single parent. Queen of Pentacles coming out sideways. I feel like you feel a little bit off balance in, when it comes to your stability or security. There is like one parent here and a baby, like one big giraffe and one baby giraffe in the tribe. So your tribe could just be, you could be a single parent. I definitely feel like there's a little bit of struggle behind finances. I feel like you... You're showing up as the Empress, okay? So I feel like going back to the drawing board, you are blessed. I feel like you know this. You know you're the Empress. I feel like you know you know something. I feel like you are the magician, okay? You are the Empress. You're very loving. You are blessed because you have a loyal heart. You're feeling stuck in between worlds right now because I feel like somebody, you know some type of communication is coming in. Maybe you're not wanting to take any risks at this time. You know, somebody somebody here is going through some bad karma and they're, they're mentally conflicted. I feel like you're choosing to heal from this, but I feel like maybe there's some type of anxiety here. Whatever this is, I feel like is what is keeping you stuck in between worlds is I feel like you know deep within somebody who is unstable is possibly coming back into your life. I feel like you've all, you know, once you give up on somebody completely like disconnect your energy from somebody, that person tends to come back because they feel you disconnecting. Although I feel, remember these, these messages won't resonate with everybody. So if I say that I feel, it could be you feel, all right? <laughs> if I say he, it could be she. If I say she, it could be he. If I say it was you, and it was them. Then it is. All right. So take what fits. Leave the rest. Uh, put yourself where you fit. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. But I feel like you are in between worlds. Like, you know somebody's coming back who is mentally unstable, who possibly needs help. Pisces, 
It is not for you, okay? It is not for you to fucking fix, all right? This, this fortune cookie, you need to be strategic about how you come into this fortune or whatever the hell this is. Because there's some type of board in between you and this fortune. And, and the game of chess is all about strategy. So you need to be strategic here in this situation. This may be showing, okay, you have a loyal heart. So you, Pisces, we tend to try and help anybody. If someone comes to us for help, we always try and find a way to help them, right? This person's karma I feel like you are having like some type of anxiety. This could be making you sleepy or tired with this four of swords. But I feel like somebody here is coming back, rushing in, wanting to communicate with you, wanting to tell you some type of truth, possibly because they're feeling out, left out in the cold. They're, you know, in some type of mental conflict here about a risk or a choice that they made to have a new beginning. Or maybe they, you know that they're coming back to you to have a new beginning because we do have this reconciliation over here. However, I feel like somebody here had some binding spells on you with this hair font, this devil card. Somebody was definitely into some fucking fucked up shit, but I feel like you are protected. The angels, this angel over here is standing there. You are still standing strong. Okay. You possibly are single. I feel like this is for a Pisces who's single at this time. You could be wanting marriage or commitment, so yet you're ending over here in the Empress. I feel like you're feeling a little bit off balance in regards to your finances. You may need to um, lean on friends or family at this time as well. I feel like somebody here has like ill intentions. There's some secrets about what somebody did about a legal binding contract that is toxic, that is attached to the devil, or somebody here was literally doing like hexes and fucking whatever bullshit, occult work, or I don't even know. No disrespect if I'm saying that wrong, but okay. I feel like you're blessed, okay? You had to go through some type of harsh ending over here with this Ten of Swords to, show, to be able to recognize your real worth, this magician clarified by the Queen of Cups. I feel like you're staying silent, trying to see things with fresh eyes, thinking about rejecting an offer because somebody here just doesn't give to the situation. Somebody abused their power. What's the advice? Show me advice. Three cards. If this is resonating, guys, please hit that like button. It helps me out oh so much. It helps me get these readings out to y'all. Okay. Advice, advice, advice for Pisces. Ace of Pentacles. Bam. To walk through that fucking doorway. All right. Walk through to your Ace of Pentacles, your brand new beginning. So I can close old doors. Ow. Woo. What is this? The Sun card. Ah, the Sun card is the happiest card in the deck. Leo energy. Happy, happy. Why did we take this card out? Because the Sun card is in your outcome. It is in your advice. Choose to be happy, happy, happy. Go towards that, walk through that damn door, Pisces. What are we doing? Bam. Go somewhere tropical. No, you don't have to. As long as your mind is in a tropical place. Three of swords in the reverse. This whole deck is in the upright, okay? So you've healed. You're healing. Your advice is to fucking heal this heartbreak. Like, walk through that door. Close that cycle. Walk walk out to your brand new beginning. It's time to be happy, happy, happy. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Hit that like button. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.